According to the measures of structural equivalence, we will now see how to build block models with structural equivalence and extended approaches. The partition consists in building equivalent classes uh, of actors called positions. Such partitions follow two general conditions. The partition of actors create discrete subgraphs, subset called positions. It leads to summarize the relation between pairs of positions. The notation are the following. We have partition of I actors of N into B positions, B1, B2, until the, the, the last B position. The position of each actor of N is a function to this position BK. And the build of a matrix B par by a product of B and R are called a block. A block. Then BKLR uh, is presence of absence for the X matrix that are the relation between the different blocks. The perfect fit, what, what we call fat fit, block model occurs if all actors in each position are structurally equivalent. It is zero with all zero relations, like there, or one with all one position, like there. This ideal situation results in the permuted sociomatrix field with all one and zero. Despite it is quite unlikely that this criterion would be useful in practice, it is an ideal case that can provide a baseline for assessing comparison for tests that are called goodness of fit that we will see in the future courses. But in real networks, a collection of nodes are rarely, rarely structurally equivalent. So we can add other criteria as zero block, one block, alpha density criterion, maximum value with valued data or mean value. The zero block criteria de defines a relation zero between two positions only if there are absolutely no relation between individuals of these two positions. Otherwise, it is one. The focus on zero is structurally important because of the expectation that while one block might not be completely filled with one, blocks that contain no observed ties indicate important structural patterns. For example, in geopolitics, intervention or cooperation, these events do not occur every year, so the apparition of links are rare. But no relations during a long period is an important structural information. In general, this kind of zero block is reasonable if ties are scarce and the network has got a low density. On the opposite, the one block uh, focus on value 1 rather than value 0. It requires complete field with 1. Note that in the case of a block is totally connected with himself like B1, it corresponds to a complete subgraph or a clique. Also, densities can be calculated for each couple of blocks and inside each block and be used to assign 0 if density is low and 1 if if it is high. Density tables uh, between an inside block measure the density uh, of blocks of cells. The value in the table are the ratio of ties to the total possible ties excepting self ties in the diagonal. For example, the block B1, B2 here 15 ties exist out of 24 possible choices, so the density is 0 0.625. Now, using a threshold of density, one builds an image matrix. This threshold is, for example, the wall density of the matrix, which is 
0.452. All the values below are null and all the higher values are 1. For weighted links, one can use value criteria. The maximum value criterion is analogous to the zero block for dichotomous relations. Blocks that contain only small values are defined as zero block and blocks containing largest value are defined as one block. Another criteria is the mean value. If the mean value of the links between blocks K and L um, is greater or equal to general means, then the block is defined as one block. This is analogous to the alpha density for dichotomous relations. Finally, one can recall some few ideal images that display theoretical important structural properties. The cohesive subgroups correspond to a reflexive position here, level, and so privilege the diagonal. This corresponds to the clustering method uh, maximizing internal uh, linkages. The center-periphery pattern consists of a core position, um, which is internally cohesive, and one or more position with ties to the core position, but not to each other. In the centralized system, all ties are po pointed uh, from or toward a single position. In the hierarchy, appears as unreciprocated ties directed from each position um, and the position directly above. It is in a chain of commands. A system is transitive here if position observe transitive rules. Depending on the substance of the relation, it could indicate dominance or difference between different positions. Similarly to structural equivalence, what can also use regular equivalence in order to build these block matrices.